What you do if you get in water backed up, stats get inside, is you want to make, in, you let the ice get into the spatter, which you shouldn't, is you can drill a hole with a hot water hose right through. What this allows it to do is when you go like this, you'll watch the water start to come down underneath the ice dam now. You make some holes. So if we get rain or whatever, the water's gonna start traveling down, it's going under. What was happening now is up underneath there, it started dripping the house. If you look at that icicle that's actually on the house, it's because the water was coming down in there. So right above it, I drilled a hole with my hot water hose just to get the water flowing again so it's not backing up into the house. Ideally, what you do is rake off the roof and the heat wires will take care of it. We let it get way too backed up this year because we never had a year like this. As you can see what's happening here is we're still getting drips in. What we did was we broke through this bottom, you know, the ice dam which holds the water. But look right here. Another ice dam formed because the snow is still down. When I go like this with water, see how water sits there? Now, a shingle is made for water to slide off, down, down. When water sits like this on your roof, it's, it goes under the shingle, down the nail hole, and right through. So what you have to do is you've got to make a path. If it's still leaking, it's a pain in the butt, but I've hooked to a hot water hose here, and I make a path, and this will stop all my leaks. But this water can't sit here like that. So what I have to do is I've got to drain. Now, see how it's starting to drain? All that water that was puddling just in a couple of minutes, you're going to see it drain away now. See how it all goes right down. And you can see down the southern end it's going. If you see puddling, that's where it's going to follow the nail right down, down to the insulation, onto your roof. So it, it, the best way not to let it get like this is to take a snow shovel, get all uh, roof rate. Just get the first two feet off, have the wires that go down like this, and you will never have that problem. But you've got to keep the snow down by the wires so the melting pot is all clear. Came on the roof up here. As I'm uh, digging some of the snow off here, you can see actually this little cave that starts getting created in these places as I dig out. And basically it's where the water is melting underneath about two to three feet worth of snow. And that creates these under kind of the snow rivers, if you will, creating these big ice dams. And that's what causes the problems and the leaks. So uh, if you can dig up, I'm digging up a good two or three feet, maybe even four feet above the end here. That will definitely slow the progress of these ice dams.